sometimes it's like this cat, like the cat's on the porch. <laughs> <laughs> just like barking at the cat and I'm just like positive that someone's outside and I'm like ah. Somebody... <laughs> <laughs> when, the, when the reality was it was a, squir a squirrel <laughs> I can't even say it what dropping off a bread? piece of garlic bread <laughs> <laughs> bringing me some more garlic bread <laughs> alright so to clarify for anyone who doesn't know which is everyone except you I don't know awesome. anyway yeah um a squirrel <laughs> apparently dug through someone's garbage bin, picked up a whole slice of garlic bread, bought it, brought it to Sam's front door, and left it on top of her mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't believe it. Like... And then Sam was like, why do I have garlic bread on my mailbox? <sighs> <sighs> I, I wanted to take a picture as it was happening, but he was too yeah. fast for me. You gotta watch out for those garlic bread carrying squirrels, and and if you, if you hadn't seen it with your own eyes, you would, I would have yeah you would, I would have been, been convinced scared. it was anything but a squirrel dropping off a piece of garlic bread at your mailbox. <laughs> yeah, your mailbox. I would have thought like it was some like peeping tom or something like, you know, like they say like oh if you see, you know, like a stone by your front door, it means that people in the neighborhood are saying your house is the good one to rob from or something you know like you see all these things like that and it's like i'd be like looking that. at it like oh the garlic bread they're coming for me <laughs> <laughs> they've seen my house is the perfect it's place the, to strike the garlic bread gang oh my gosh <laughs> you know like that's what i would have thought i would have been like oh no i've been selected by the garlic bread gang. they're coming for you <laughs> oh my god but no it was just a squirrel and i swear like when I saw him, like, looking, like... Just like that. He, yeah, he was. He was looking up because he was ready to launch onto my <laughs> mailbox. And I was just like, where does he think he's going? Question. You know, like... <laughs> how How was he carrying the, the garlic bread? In his mouth. In his mouth, okay. That's yeah, he had a whole garlic, bread. garlic I saw bread. Yeah, he had a whole garlic bread in his mouth. And he was like... And I saw him come up on the porch, and he's looking around, and I'm like, okay, I, that, that's cool garlic bread you got there. And then, like, he started, like, coming closer to the house, and I'm like, what is he going to do? <laughs> and then, like, he's looking up, and I'm like, where is he going to go? Like, this is, like, the house is here. Like, what's he going to do? Oh. And then he just, like, lunged at the siding, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and, then and then, like. Yeah. yeah. Well, one of my favorite parts of the story is after you went outside and and witnessed the garlic bread with your own eyes, um, you you said you decided to leave it there in case he still wants it. It's still there. <laughs> you leave it there for the the garlic bread squirrel gang. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I gotta like I was thinking because I thought he'd come back for it, but I think it's obvious that. I don't think he's that acrobatic. I don't think he can actually come back and pick it up. I think that, you know, I, I, think, I think he that forgot he's, about it. Yeah, I mean, I remember when he left it on the mailbox. Like oh I saw my him. Oh, serious. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I saw him again, <laughs> and he was like, his hair was up all on end, like he was upset about what had just happened. <laughs> you <Aww>. know. <laughs> so like I'm like, well, don't look at me. You. you messed it up yeah, you know you know. like at first i thought it was putting the garlic bread like inside my mailbox because That's what like i, I heard were... yeah i heard a lot of rustling like dunk 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 you know and i was like special delivery <laughs> and because then i wondered like how many other food items am i gonna see once i lift my mailbox and see like a bunch of stuff in there but no it's just the garlic bread that's the only thing that's there and I definitely got to get rid of it. I got to, I got to, unfortunately, pick it up. Aww. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> I mean, we could do like a little like supersize me uh, <laughs> type uh, experiment and see how long it takes for the garlic bread to ferment. And <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, you know, like they should like that the French fries, like they'd been there for like a year and they still hadn't like. 
just on decompose. And so they're kind of like, Spongebob. imagine how long it stays in your stomach. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> <sighs> like the french fries look the same like a year later. It was like insane. <laughs> Super you... Size Me. Did you watch that movie? No, I've heard the name. I'm not uh, fully sure aware of what you were talking about. Yeah, well, like that's this what guy... I was thinking of. Every oh, once in a while, that? every once in a while, we'll get like old food, and like whatever. Some potatoes went bad. Like we didn't never didn't cook them in time, and so I was uh -huh. like, I'll just pitch these in the backyard in the woods, and I'll pitch them in the backyard, and I'll watch them bounce around. I'll be like, oh shoot, now I just have a potato sitting there in the backyard. <laughs> like I always think it'll just kind of blend in with the with the woods, but no, it's just a potato. <laughs> uh, and potato. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lori, did you want to tell me about Super Size? Oh, well, Super Size Me. Yeah, it was this movie where this guy just, like, he ate nothing but McDonald's for, like, a year or something like that. He donated his body to science while still oh. alive and ate McDonald's for, like, a whole year. And oh. whenever they asked him if he wanted to supersize it, he had to say yes. I remember this one. Okay, yes, yes. That's the one part I remember. Yeah. So, you know, oh, he showed, shoot. like, how much weight he gained, <laughs> like, and then he did, like, this thing, he had, like, bottles, and he's like, these are french fries from different, um, from different places, like, one was Burger King, one was Wendy's, one was McDonald's, or something like that, and it's like, the other ones had decomposed, but the McDonald's ones were <laughs> McDonald's ones were still the same. Like they they weren't able to leave this world because they still had beef on planet Earth. You know what they say? Like that like, is beautiful. <laughs> you know oh, they have a tragic backstory of the person who threw them in their yard or whatever before they became French fries. <laughs> Whoa! What did he turn into? Goomba, monkey dude. Oh, did he? My mom always called them. My mom always called those guys uh, monkey dudes when we were younger. Goombas. <laughs> Apparently, they look like little monkeys. <laughs> this they kind of got eyebrow. They do. That's the best part. That's their uh, their charm point. <laughs> oh man, have you ever thought what your charm point is? Oh, all the time. Um, and by the way, I was just I was I was being uh, what's the word? Hyperbolic? What's the opposite of? I was I was understating. Of course, this is a uh, this game's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> this game's pretty good. Anyway, uh, I think I usually say it's my dimples. It's definitely not my <laughs> male pattern baldness. Oh no. Oh. Well, you know, oh. what is, I I saw a thing. What does it say? Like two thirds of all men or something have male pattern baldness. It was like it was definitely like a. Th third it's either it was either one third or two thirds but Whoa. yeah you're, you're definitely not alone with that yeah. oh speaking of how i look i went to the i ordered new uh, glasses today so oh nice pretty soon in our uh are they bifocals you know i came really close i need bifocals i could easily need bifocals oh look at that the designers <laughs> they're like there's going to be people who just can't get this, can't get this to spray. work. Oh, yeah. So let's give them, we'll give them a block here. It'll be nice. <laughs> um, Thanks, Miyamoto. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, arigato. We, uh, what is it? Uh, right, because I noticed in recent months I've had to like, I have to like take off my glasses to read small numbers, small print. Right. Oh, the water stages. Ugh. Yeah, I, I think Mario's got the same problem I do. He I don't float, I looks. Think. Oh, you don't float. <laughs> That's much better than what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I just swim belly first. <laughs> just like yeah. Mario. <laughs> he swims kind of weird. Like who swims like that? Oh no. Oh my God! I was at the park today, and I was wearing a dress that was not form fitting, but it was very windy. And so, like, it kept pressing up against my skin, and I'm like, I didn't intend to show this off today. Oh, my <laughs> I goodness. I don't like what I'm seeing. You're showing off the goods. Oh, oh, your dress was showing off the goods, and you were not pleased with the goods, with the service. No, it was the bads. It was 
Oh, Sam. <laughs> it was showing off the beds. Too many, too many McDonald's indigestible yeah, french fries. I, I told you, I've been eating very poorly lately. Very poorly. Wait, hold on a second. Oh, oh, in conclusion, I decided not to get bifocals. Whatever. I'm oh, too young good. for bifocals. All well, right. yeah. It's a statement. <laughs> that's, I feel like it's giving up. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. So you've been eating poorly? I ate... Oh, yeah. I ate poorly, too, today. <laughs> Pringles. Well, I, I mean... Pringles are good, though. They, I remember when they had those uh, <gasps> fat-free Pringles, but they made you... Oh, no. Olestra. <laughs> <laughs> the miracle drug. Uh, oh my goodness! I probably like what did gave you do, myself Sam? colon cancer by eating that. <laughs> you had some. You experienced. <laughs> I did. I ate it. Those the Wow chips. They're called. That's amazing. It used to be all about low fat before the Atkins diet came out. Oh. People realized, oh, it's actually carbs that are bad. <laughs> it's not right, bad. Right, right, right. <laughs> And people, oh my god, people were so, like, crapping on Dr. Pooping. Atkins. What it, yeah, they were pooping, pooping on, on him. And it's like, but now every single diet is the same way. They're like, yeah, you need to stay away from carbs and sugar. Yeah. <laughs> Weren't we just talking like, about this? How no matter what uh, yes. what food you say, there will be some, I you, someone. I give you oh, crap about so your small your salami sandwich. Nice no, salami. <laughs> You pooping on my salami? No, yeah. I, because you know I grew up. If you were to tell eight-year-old Dave that spaghetti is unhealthy, oh like, yeah, I just right. It's just common yeah. knowledge now. Apparently, I just can't. Uh, I can't. It's very hard for me to like really process. <laughs> spaghetti is unhealthy. Whatever. I mean, sure, eating yeah. a lot. I don't know. Oh man, Whatever. there was a time where I could not have anything. Well, <laughs> yeah, last fall, I had a real big issue with eating pretty much anything. And for a while, I was only able to eat the brat diet or whatever. Right, right. I was eating just loaves of bread. <laughs> oh. It was bad. Because <laughs> I knew it was bad for me. They don't, you know, you're not be eating just bread. And I think I, I think I gained like two pounds. <laughs> I, oh, just eating bread all the time, which kind, of, which kind of proves that it's not, it's not the grams of fat. Because I literally, there was no grams of fat in anything I ate, but I gained oh, like yeah. two pounds <laughs> just eating bread and rice cakes. I was eating a bunch of rice cakes. <laughs> I always think there's a one up here. I guess there's not a one up here. Oh. Yeah, maybe not. Hey, uh, what do you think happened to that tree that made it white? Is this a snow oh. level? Or is are, are they, like, infected with a fungus? This is the snow level. This is the nighttime snow level. Oh, jeez. Really? <laughs> Sorry. Well, is you know, really? nighttime comes uh, closer in wintertime. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> There's less daylight hours for Mario to <laughs> He's like, I cannot come before 6 p.m. tonight. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that. What is it? Oh, oh this is it. <laughs> I, I clock in my... at 5.30, Bob. I don't care how it looks outside. I failed. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I showed, I showed my kids recently the uh, infinite lives trick. Oh, yeah. That's glad. I, I had to use, yeah, I do save states. So was, I can never get it. <laughs> I think I did it once on real hardware. Oh, here we go. Aw. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! I'm unstoppable. Oh, no. ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my good. This game. Oh my goodness. This game has so many memories for me. I mean, for everybody. I think that was everyone that was alive during in the '80s or whatever. This was big for them. 1985. Yeah. Yeah. I was two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something. I remember it well. <laughs> 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 Oh jeez, that's fine. Somebody, what did somebody say today? We were talking about. Oh, we were talking about. Uh, what were we talking about? What at the eye at the eyeglasses place? I think it was the eyeglasses place. 
or dancing? I can't remember. Some place I was today, someone was. It sounded. Somebody made a comment that sounded like they thought I was a lot younger than I actually am. Oh, that's kinda, nice. That's always fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it was a I dance. feel. I swear, like sometimes, like I feel like people, you know, like I always hear this stuff, right? Like I always hear that no matter what someone tells you, the schmoozy thing t is to go, oh, whoa, really? I never thought you'd be that old. Like regardless of like <laughs> even if you do think they'd be that old, so like I love, I love the voice. <laughs> I can't, like I, I, like I was thinking, I was like, you know, I always hear how young I look, and mm -hmm. I'm like. Maybe everyone's just been schmoozing me. <laughs> schmoozing. Because I remember one time I was at work and uh -huh. someone goes, oh, can you believe she's, you know, I mean, I'm 40 now, but I was probably like 38 at the time or whatever. Sure. And this one guy was like, you know, I can't or something like that. <laughs> or, like, or like everyone was saying, oh, no, she she looks way younger. She looks like 10 years younger. And he's like, no, she doesn't. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was like... It's everyone lying to me? Like, it's just uh, the thing you say? Oh, I don't... yeah. Almost burned something I needed down there. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> you know? You That's just, a good question. If you I know what you it, mean. You might as oh. well just go home. What's the point in saving the princess? <laughs> Whoa, hey. <laughs> the princess, I'm sorry, but <laughs> just, uh, something happened and, uh, you know. Had a little accident on the way here. <laughs> I'm going home oh now. <laughs> <laughs> I need some uh, spaghetti. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say ice. <laughs> oh, jeez. I need some ice for my meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's like the frozen stofers. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need that. Does that give you points, or is that just like an OCD I've, thing? OCD. <laughs> thicky, thicky OCD. <sighs> I wish I had OCD. Why do you wish you had OCD? What are you talking about? My house will finally be clean. <laughs> Sam, no. No, OCD is not a... Uh, wanting a clean house is not a valid reason. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. I aspire to have OCD. Someday. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> I aspire to have OCD. Oh, oh no. man. Oh no. Okay, like I'm so. telling you, people with OCD <laughs> Shoot. get stuff done. Shoot, <laughs> you know me. <laughs> hey, Linky. Linky. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Um I might have a special guest in a few seconds. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> hey. Hold on. Hey, Linky! Mm, linky links! Okay. I was just planning <laughs> on playing this till I die. Okay! <laughs> I guess I'm still going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, congrats! You're in World War Two. Thank you. Um... <laughs> oh man, reminds me of my ex. What? War Two, yeah. Why? Yeah. He, was a, <laughs> he was an English as a second language speaker. Sure. And like every time he'd say something, he'd always be like, four to this. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> I need like, to go outside for to get the mail. Yeah, like stuff like that. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so yeah, like I remember one time we were at um we were at Walmart and we said something to I was telling a coworker because uh we were talking about his uh problem with four two. <laughs> oh. And like <laughs> literally the this guy picks up the PA that goes like across to all of Walmart and he's like, I got a code four two. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a dorky. <laughs> <sighs> he didn't get fired for it. I mean Um <laughs> What did we do? I mean I had access to the uh the PA system at, at my Bradley's? job. Was it was it this this video recording now where we were talking about how I don't have an I've never had an adventure bone? Yes. Yeah, that also is true at doing stupid things, <laughs> stuff at work. Oh no! 
I know. It's oh, so no. easy to get up there. I don't know if I've ever even been to this next stage. <laughs> you know, I had to do the closing announcements at one of my jobs. Yeah. Attention shoppers. This store will be closing in 15 minutes. Yeah. Please finalize your selections and bring them to the front of the store. Thank you for shopping at our store. Yeah, you? did you have to say the same thing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> occasionally, I'm talking like, oh, yeah, that was my job. I helped occasionally. It was kind of fun. <laughs> oh. Yeah, like, I heard oh, one geez. time, like, oh. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Mario. Sorry, princess. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm going to be a little late, princess. <laughs> <laughs> Had to go to the hospital. Two broken femurs. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do you think about like, like Chris Pratt being Mario now? Oh, I think he did a great job. Did he? Like, oh, have you seen the, Have you seen the movie? No. Oh, the movie's so much fun. I highly <laughs> recommend it. I know. I I just I don't watch movies. You don't? Oh, okay, yeah. I really don't. Like, I don't know. It's just like. When I think oh, about like, I thought that was the end. <laughs> Wait, what happened? I did the long jump as if that was the flagpole. I was wrong. <laughs> you just went for it. I went for it, Mario. I mean, you're out of control. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I admire. I admire that adventure bone. <laughs> I get. <laughs> I get my adventure bone out in the uh, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> Mario was like, uh, "Time to flex my adventure bone." <laughs> All right, here it is. Here's the real one. Okay, here we go. Adventure Bone! Hey! <laughs> is, that, is that your new battle cry? Adventure, Adventure Bone? bone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could scream it at work. See what happens. <laughs> Adventure Bone! <laughs> Adventure Bone! <sighs> Alright, I think it's top, middle, bottom? Oh, whoa! You know, like, the deep stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these maze stages. They're so annoying. Oh yeah. Maze oh no, it's gonna be it's gonna be bottom. It's whatever is it? hardest to get to. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. All right. Oh oh, I just remembered in uh, in the Game Boy Color re-release. It's a re-release of this game. Uh oh, this is the first time I don't have uh, shoot. There's many fires. Look at that. That's three types ah! of fires. Oof. Yeah. yeah. Eat it. <laughs> In the Game Boy Color re-release of this game, eat it. <laughs> Take that, Bowser. <laughs> eat that fire. Um, yeah, eat igneous rock. <laughs> they actually add a sound effect when you when you take the wrong path. It goes boop boop. Oh, that is good. That is yeah. good to know. It like like a uh, lava what? creates igneous rock, and that what it is. <laughs> uh oh, that? are we ready for another deep dive with Sam? Uh, you get a lot more start. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> my cat just left, and he took my head, my headpiece with him. All right. Uh, I don't get this. I, I'm now kitty free. <laughs> oh jeez. I don't. I don't know if you heard his purring. He he like sniffed the microphone while purring for a little bit. I don't know if that'll come up. <laughs> no, I didn't uh, notice. Oh, I think this is so clever. Go around the top. Oh! Like, have you? Are you familiar with this? To get up there, you go like outside of the frame. Yeah, that's cool. Oh! That's so weird. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Like seriously, every time I play Mario, like I miss out on all these stages because I always do like the quickest way possible. Because like, oh, yeah. So I miss out she's, on the game. She's here to. She's here to save the princess. Oh, you were the princess. <laughs> I was the princess, yeah. Princess Peach, you make a you, you're, you're a killer Peach. <laughs> well, thank you. I had a lot of fun. Like cosplaying Cosplay. as Princess Peach was like way more fun. Honestly, I love cosplaying as Aerith, but Peach was so much more fun because like Pe Aerith is controversial. Peach is not. Peach is oh, just I a good time. <laughs> Peach is a good time. <laughs> There's no controversial anything about it. You know, she's she's just, you know, her and Mario are just everyone's childhood. Everyone has good, happy feelings towards them. Everything's just happy. <laughs> you know, it wasn't until 
recently that I realized, I don't know, how do I say this out sounding like an idiot? Like I really started oh, no. understanding <laughs> understanding uh, Peach's, like her character, her, pers her character, her personality. Yeah. Like, because I don't know. I'm used to Super Mario Brothers 1, where you rescue her, she says thank you. Super Mario Brothers 2, she's the one that floats. Super Mario Brothers 3, she makes a joke. And But no, no, mod the modern characters, modern Peach, modern Mario, no. Ooh. Like, they have their own really, really unique, distinct personalities. It's really fun. Oh, cool. I don't know. But, I mean, at this point, most people are saying, well, duh. Oh, well, I was just, um, I played uh, the Mario and um, Paper Mario games. Mm-hmm. And Peach was definitely a lot more, like, fleshed out in those ones. So, like, there was a few things I remember. Like, I don't know if, like, she's in the movies. I don't know if she's like that. If they if they kind of worked with uh, exploring the character. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes they can just, like, yeah, okay, that was that game. She's got a different personality for this movie. And then she's got a different personality for that. Yes. You know what I mean? One of my favorite things, one of my favorite things is uh, that ties in perfectly with the quote from uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, they asked, he was asked, uh, are Mario and Bowser friends or not? Like, how come sometimes they're <laughs> friends and sometimes they're not? And he gave a really cool answer. Are you serious? The answer is they're actors. Like, they're characters oh, that play, oh, yeah. they play characters in the games. So if yeah. Mario, need, I'm sorry. So if Bowser needs to be a, a frenemy, he just acts as a frenemy. Right. Yeah. He's I mean, clever. you know, yeah. Like, like I said, like you gotta love Mario because, like, it is. It's just fun. <laughs> you know, let's not think too hard about this. You know, we're just here to have fun. You know, we might be playing golf today. <laughs> <laughs> We might be saving the princess tomorrow. You know, maybe the princess is the hero and she's trying on different outfits. It doesn't matter. Like, it's just Mario. We're just here to have fun. <laughs>